Hey everyone, so I have here another USB. If you can see, it's bent. It's not a good thing. We don't want to plug it in, don't want to do that. The customer said they tried plugging it in and you'll see a very small flashlight sometimes and when you hold it at a certain angle. What usually that means is that you're bending it and you're touching the solder back and it's making a connection, but then it still doesn't power on, but you do see a light. And we're gonna go ahead today, take a look at it really. We need to go ahead, open it up and see how we can actually fix the, the PCB and see if there's any other issues going on with it. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So we can just get a flat up here and this actually just, just comes off this side. Now we have the this exposed here. Then all you need to do, you can just like push this out and this actually comes out this way. There we go. See that, how it's up? Now let's go ahead and see if we can go ahead and fix this. Let's look under the microscope and see how we can do it. So we have the USB under the microscope and we can see that there is clear damage to the USB here where the trace lines are. And what the trace lines are, they're a, a way of communicating from the USB to um, the, the actual computer itself, right? So these are damaged and there's gonna be no communication when you plug it in. You might get a red light or you might get some type of light coming up there, but you won't get any data that's gonna come or it won't make any noise when you do connect it because it doesn't recognize it. Now, what we need to do is we need to re-expose these connections and create our own connections here and re-establish the connection to make sure it works. So we can do that with some solder here and to make sure it has a nice strong connection that it's gonna be reconnected and be able to have a communication between the USB and the computer itself here. So we do that, we can just make our solder wire, we can expose it and we can solder it down. And now um, there still can be issues even after you do this that uh, maybe it still doesn't recognize or maybe there's a firmware corruption because of the damage. But we're gonna go ahead and see, we're gonna go clean it up here, see if it actually does work. So uh, hopefully it will and uh, that's kind of the point of the video, right? So we're gonna at least show that the fix of the USB. Now let's go ahead and see if it works. All right, so we got our finished USB here. Let's just make sure to go plug it in, see if we can get the data. Let's go ahead, plug it in. The light would be great. All right. So let's go ahead and switch to our um, desktop display and go see what's going on. All right, and you can see it actually did come up right away. It went right to the drive itself there. So it looks to be pretty good. We can actually get the data, and we want to make sure that we put this on another USB drive. All right, guys, so we did the repair for USB here. We're able to get the data and everything was to be pretty good. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Um, please subscribe for more content. We do lots of data recoveries, liquid spills, border level repairs, lots of cool soldering here, and as well as lots of cool talking points. If you guys are interested, subscribe for, for that. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Bye.